that um, um, Edie probably won't make it tonight. She said she might come in a little bit late. Okay. Um, and Amanda and Zach are not coming. They're going to meet on Thursday. Mm. And I haven't heard from anybody else. I can check um, my email just to see if anything came in in the last couple minutes. I'm going to put a the link to the shared slides. I saw that people had already started adding stuff to that. I'm going to make a couple of you co-hosts just in case. Um, Where did everybody go? I think I just did something. We're still here. Oh, yeah, I know. I can hear you. Oh, well, there you are. Okay. So to minimize you so I can see two things at once. Okay. Mm. All right. Oh, I did get a message from Joan, and her subgroup is meeting um, via email, like sort of checking in via email and virtually rather than at this meeting. So, Jen, you're with uh, Mia and Jay, and they're not here. So I can um, open up the breakout rooms for Will and Catherine to get going. Yeah, Mia sent me a couple of things, but are they not coming tonight either? I haven't heard from them. I can text Mia and ask. Here, I'll open up the uh, breakout rooms, and then you and I can stay behind Jen and figure it out what makes sense. So the rooms are open and I think last time Will and Catherine, you were both able to join your own room, but let me know if you need me to put you in there. Okay, thanks. Trying now. Okay, so Jay and Jen, I'm gonna just shoot them a text. Okay. And then Amanda Zach, are not coming in Joan and they're all meeting elsewhere. So let's figure this out. I, um, I can hear my, uh, I'm gonna mute myself right now because I can hear someone coming in the house. Okay, text sent. <laughs> but um, did, so did you see? Maybe you were the one that entered it, but did you see that there was information on the slides for the policy? Yeah, I did. I just I didn't really do anything with that. I was looked. I I I added just changed it to continuous improvement plan. So if somebody's looking at that, they know what CIP meant. Um. Right. I wasn't really sure about uh, the policy recommendations. Are we saying that 
these policies need to be updated or just reviewed? Well, my understanding was that they needed to be sort of looked at and updated through the lens of the diversity, equity, and inclusion policy, and mainly through the lens of the core values that we've put out as a committee. But I feel like there could be um, like a sentence or two on this slide to make sure that that's clear to people who are viewing the slide deck. Yeah. I'm not sure exactly. I think it was... Um, you know, maybe uh, consider revision of the following policies through the lens of the core values, something like that. Maybe we should title it that then, something. Let me see, where's the other one? Consider. Or maybe what are you looking at, M, when you're pulling that up? Is that on our other? Can no, you no, I just came up with that off the top of my head. Oh, okay. <laughs> Um, but I just remember, you know, that was sort of the initial talk when you and I and uh, me and Jay all got together. Yeah. That was sort of the initial conversation was sort of was like, it's, it's not like, um, you know, it's just that each of these policies should be looked at through this new lens. Of, Maybe we should write that, you know, say, you know, review through the lens of, you know, something that's more descriptive. So you know what we're talking about. Okay, so I don't know what you just said exactly, but it sounded good. Okay, I can I can type it out. So um, they're getting back to me now, and Mia says that she sent you an email about it yesterday. Um, yeah, I'll go. <laughs> email. I did answer her on one part, but I didn't think it. Maybe I didn't read the whole thing. Just kind of. Yeah. Think about it. I'm going to mute myself for a second. Yeah. Okay, one comment. Let me just see what I wrote for her. She sent me um, some of the policy recommendations that we had written up, and then she assigned me a little. Are you there? Can you hear me? Yep. Yeah, okay. So it was a phrase, and there was two replies. Let's see. I said, um, so what she had written, um, because school handbooks are the place where relationships between the MRPS and the MPD will be uh, uh, operationalized. We encourage revisions that detail when it's necessary to call the police and when it's not necessary, offering alternative steps. I wrote that um, I just stopped it as when it's necessary to call the police, noting that um, RP information can be noted in other areas and there should only be a couple of places where an officer is called for assistance or notified of an incident. So I don't think that putting that alternatives, adding all the alternative steps in there just didn't seem, it seems like that should go somewhere else to me. Okay. So I think um, Jay said that you should check in with them. So maybe just respond to that email. With this, on so, this, this was, well, I, did they send me another email, are they saying? Hmm. It, it sounds like Mia sent you an email about 
what, when and where and how you were going to complete the work of the policy recommendations that it probably wouldn't be at this meeting. That's what it sounds like to me. Okay. Um, I can, do you want me to text her and tell her to resend it so yeah, that it's at the top of your inbox? Yeah, I'm just looking to see. No, I don't think I have that. I have the document she sent and the slides that she sent. So maybe yeah. that's, I don't know. Maybe that's what she means is just that you guys are going to sort of work on it um, mm -hmm. virtually. Maybe. So I just told her to resend it so that it's at the top of your yeah. inbox. And then I think you can just reply to both of them and make sure that they got your suggested edits. Yeah, I think that she did. Well, maybe not. <laughs> no, she didn't read it, read what I wrote. So not sure, but I'll look. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Um, so yeah, we're, we're having a regular uh, meeting next Tuesday, the 13th. That one I cannot come to because of um, I'm having a, a town meeting that night. Okay. I'm hosting, so. Yeah, I'm sure you're very busy. Um, okay, well, so then, uh, yeah. yeah, and then the, 14th, the night of the 14th is the presentation to the board. So we're nearing the end, Jen. It's happening. Diehards. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'll look for her email. Okay, darling. All okay, right. sounds good. We'll see you soon. All right. Bye. Bye. And the question, one question is on the um, slideshow. Do you want more of the core values um, spelled out, you know, like the paragraphs on the slideshow? Or do you just want the flow chart and then you talk about them or do we know? Uh, what we're doing. I don't know. I mean, I'm sort of feeling like the slideshow should serve as like the landing pad for all of our materials so that when the board members go through the slideshow, they should be able to at least click on links to whatever we want them to be able to see. So um, you could sort of summarize on the slide, but then like link out to a more complete document. The one that you shared first, I don't have permission to view right now. Let's pick it up. Go to the other one. Um, oh, both of them. Okay. So oh. I think I'm, well, never mind. I'm on my work email, which always happens when I'm sending to Google. I am granting permission on both right now. Are you just, are you going to make it like anyone with link can view? Um, yes. Or are, you, or are you adding my email? Okay. I just, well, I just added your email. Um, well, because right now for some, I'm logged in with my other, you know, on my work email. Okay. So cool. it just might take me a minute to figure out how to change over to the a different Google account. Um, sure. Come on. Do, do, do. Come on, change the thing. All right, there we go. Um, anyone with the link? Done for both. Okay, great. So I'm on the one, the revised core values working draft. And then the vision statement. Okay. So, yes, I mean this just to the to the eye right away. I can see that it looks a little more clean and organized. So, justice rooted in diversity, equity. Great. 
Okay, so you did the thing where you have like a paragraph sort of overarching paragraph about the core value and then how to sort of build that into future work. Okay, and then the vision statement. I'm just going to read through it real quick. Sounds great. We will not stare at you while you read. So I wonder when we have in the presentation on the third slide, mm -hmm. we're calling them core values. We have mm -hmm. six core values. I wonder if we can be more clear. So we say in the vision statement, um, the work of the School Safety and Police Relations Committee has been guided by values and ideals that emerged from our extensive communications with the wider community. These values are grounded in our shared sense. Mm. So I wonder if somewhere in between those two sentences, if we could sort of clarify, um, you know, we um, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not feeling particularly articulate tonight, <laughs> but um, you know, we were able to um, sort of whittle them down to six core values. That's not the word I would use, whittle down, but <laughs> um, something like that, like that, so, so that we are referencing like six core values that keep coming up in the presentation. Because mm -hmm. um, I think that's the important thing. We just want to keep coming. We want to use those six core values as like the guidepost for everything so when we're talking about policy recommendations the language that they're using i believe there is core values yeah yes 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 um and then later we're making budget recommendations and i've started to type in through the lens of the core values identified by this committee mm -hmm. um so just sort of being more explicit about um Um, maybe even just adding these six core values to the second paragraph, mm -hmm. um, and then sort of summarize summarizes them. Yeah. Um, yeah. Also. Um, these goals. Change foundation at the core. Just adding, I was afraid we were overusing core values. Yeah, I'm not sure what other people would say about that. Um, to me, I just want to make sure that everyone understands what we're referencing, that we're referencing these specific six mm -hmm. core values that were that we presented last time and yeah. that we will be starting off the presentation with again this time okay um and sort of making it simple i mean i wonder we could even come up with some sort of like different title for them you know like 
core values around school safety or you know school safety core values or something like that um because i know that i think you know there's other core values floating around in the district around other things i'm sure mm -hmm. um but so that's the only thing that stands out it's i think that this is great okay yeah, yeah. and then in terms of um the presentation the slides right so we just have that core values the vision mm -hmm. and then the core values and then yeah maybe like a summary more of a bullet point of that larger document the um revised core values working draft maybe like some sort of like bullet pointed version of that mm -hmm. along with a link to this and i think that will be good Okay. Does that sound good to you? Or was there something else you were picturing? No, that sounds great. You want that bulleted version of each of the six core values after the, the like flow chart? Or is that going to be? Similar? However you think it makes sense. I mean, I think right now, just looking at it seems to make sense for slide number four. Mm -hmm. So like the vision statement. Mm -hmm. And then the flow chart and then the bulleted list. Mm -hmm. um, but I think that you will be the ones presenting this. So mm -hmm. if you have a different style or way that you want to do it, that's totally fine. Whatever you think makes sense in terms of the way that you're planning to explain it to the school board members. Sounds good. Okay, great. And Thursday was the deadline, right? Thursday by midnight. <laughs> so that I, I have a little bit of time Friday morning um, to get it together and out. So that's the that for the slideshow and the documents. Okay. Yeah. Does that seem manageable? I mean, I pr you yeah. probably could push it to like nine o'clock Friday morning or something. Um, but my plan is to email it out in the morning on Friday. Okay. Our hope was to have it in front of the school board members, um, you know, before the meeting on the 14th. Um, and then, yeah, we just have a meeting that I think will probably end up being shorter next Tuesday, the 13th, because mm -hmm. if everybody has sort of final draft i think oh the plan was final final draft emailed to committee members not to the board and then on tuesday i think that was the plan i'll double check with mia and then on tuesday we were going to have a chance to sort of run through the full draft and get any sort of like last minute changes or suggestions or additions um so that it was like fully ready for wednesday and I'm starting to feel like we probably won't need that extra hour before the board meeting on Wednesday. So I think we can probably just plan on showing up to the board meeting at 630. That's but awesome. we can make that decision final next Tuesday. That'll make dinner time easier. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. will this, you know, with the big chunk of money that's coming in, yeah, will the work that we've done be, um, you know, um, there be an investment whatever. somehow. Will it be, you know, considered or what the money will be? Yeah, invested in. I mean, I hope so. You know, the my working group with Amanda and Zach, we've come up with budget recommendations. Mm -hmm. And so I feel like those and actually thanks for reminding me i think we maybe should add a line just to say like if they're you know to sort of consider the vision of school safety and the core values in potentially um in this new like windfall that we're getting you know the recovery money and do um, we know how much that is or i don't have an exact figure and i wouldn't want to 
misquote yeah. it <laughs> and take a guess. But I know, so they have that um, public forum and I'm sure Libby will get that question. Are you, are you able to go to the public forum? That's tomorrow night, right? It's yeah, tomorrow night from 5.30 to 6.30. Yeah, I think I can, I might have my camera off, but. Yeah, so I'm yeah. sure you could ask that question and, um, and if I don't hear it, if I don't hear that question asked, I could ask it for people. Um, but I feel like she'll probably know roughly what it's, what it's supposed to be. But I, you know, the stuff that we're recommending um, is the community liaison position that's already planning to be grant funded through that money. So that's already sort of in the works. And then trainings like professional development around restorative practices and trauma-informed practices, resiliency, conflict resolution, and diversity, equity, and inclusion. So like, I mean, there's always, you know, you can always invest more money in those things. Um, and then the, like formalizing the relationship between the community justice center and the schools. Um, and so maybe before there might not have been a lot of money to like set aside for something like that, but maybe now we could help offset the cost of the community justice center in some way, you know, as they do work for our school. So and is, the community liaison, or is that the same thing as the attendance? The true yeah. So that was the, like, it's like the truancy position. So that was part of the recovery um, money. I haven't really done my homework on if they're part of the same <laughs> recovery package or if it's somehow two separate things, but I think it's the same package. I'm pretty sure that's what I'm understanding. So yeah, I think definitely, um, you know, I think we can make it more explicit in our presentation that we want them to consider um, this work for the, you know, that windfall for that grant money for some of this work. Mm -hmm. How does okay. slide two look? What's that? How does slide two look? Oh, slide two. Look at you just getting busy while we chat away. <laughs> I just realized that, like, oh God, if I do this in three days, I'm not going to remember back to that. I just grabbed the second paragraph. Yes. Great. Yep. Full text of vision statement. I like that. Simple. All right. I'm not a fan of a ton of text on slides, so I think yeah. this looks good. Yeah, this is pushing the, uh, the, the limit. <laughs> pushing the envelope. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you both. Thank and you. we'll all hear from you Thursday and I'll send the draft. Oh, you know, we'll be sending the slides out. I guess everyone already has access to the slides, so they'll just know that it's ready to view on Friday morning, but I'll send an email out Friday. Okay, and well, do, you, do you want, do we want to just each the ones we worked on do the slides for those? Sure. Or I can, I mean, I can, if we're just listing them, I can do that right now. Like it, okay. it that wouldn't be, um, that wouldn't change with the revisions of the yeah. other expanding documents. So yeah, let, let me just get that done right now. Okay. See if it looks okay. Unless you have a burning desire to do it, but I'm guessing. Yeah. I'll <laughs> defer to you for sure. Cool. Yeah. I'm on a slideshow roll. So. All right, so I'm going to close the meeting and we never had a um, we never had um, a quorum anyway, so I don't think it was ended up being an official meeting, but I wonder if Orca will choose to show it or not. All right, we'll see you um, Tuesday. All right, fantastic. Okay. Thanks both. Bye.